Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. Today, we're continuing our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. And over the past couple of episodes of our FH5 Let's Play, our barn find rumors have been starting to add up. So I was thinking today, we should definitely go and do some barn find stuff. And since we're basically right here, let's go and see if we can find our first Forza Horizon 5 barn find. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, we're definitely not driving the right vehicle for this, but the DeLorean is pretty cool. I genuinely don't even know what I'm looking for and I think I might see something over there. Let's go. No joke. I don't even know what the barns look like in Forza Horizon 5. This is definitely yes. Let's go. That is a barn. Our first one. I was about to say it definitely looks like a barn. Orale. It's an F40. I can't believe it. Help me get it out of here. No. What a sick first barn find. Let's go Ferrari F40 Competizione. It's got mold in the wheels there. What a sick, sick vehicle. Hopefully that Ferrari F40 is done being restored by the end of today's video. And then we can even jump into that and try driving it around. I think it's going to be super, super cool. Speaking of super cool, we also just unlocked a brand new feature. Send and receive car drops. You've got your own collection of rare cars and we've got an empty barn here. What do you say we pay it forward? Right then, which will it be? I think that is a very, very good idea. So with car drops, you can actually give away some of your old cars that you might not want to drive around in. So you know what? Let's drop this into the barn. Our no, Nissan Fairlady Z. I like the sound of that. Let's gift this car to new players for the game. Hope you'll enjoy the game as much as I do. Are we sure we want to continue? Yes, we're going to continue. Trust me, a little help goes a long way around here. Let's go, we pick up another achievement. So that's the car drop feature. Now what's really cool is earlier today, before I started recording this video, I actually asked both DJ and Fire if they could drop a car in a barn for me. Obviously you can't gift cars to your friends, but I do wanna see if we can actually find one of their car drops. So we'll see if the game alerts us to anything over the course of today's video. Anyways, we found our first barn though. That is awesome. As we're on the topic of barns, I was also thinking about this, the Vocho missions that we've got. This Horizon story allows you to unlock that very, very special Volkswagen Beetle, the car that has wheelie bars. I was thinking we should definitely head over there and see if we can do a Horizon story mission. What do you think? Ah. Very nice. Where's the Vocho? Don't worry, Superstar. Sometimes sock tampoco está tan mal. All right, I mean, that's that's definitely not a stock vehicle. Um, th this is this is wide body. Me versus you for three stars. We need to get to our destination in one minute and 34 seconds. Yo, this is sweet. This is a proper little head-to-head -head battle we've got here. Okay. I mean, wait, are these actually checkpoints or not? Like, can I just... I don't think these are checkpoints. What am I doing? Never mind, they are checkpoints. So there's a top tip for you, I guess. You cannot cut the corners in every single mission that you do in this game. So there you go. Oh boy, oh boy. Did you put brakes on this thing or not? There is a shorter route. Go straight ahead. Uh, straight ahead? You are now following the shorter route. Anna, whose side are you on, amiga? Incorrect. There is no fixed route for this encounter. I am providing navigational assistance. <laughs> well, I'd high five you if I could, Anna. Wait, Anna's on my side? Do not tell me I'm gonna be liking Anna by the end of this game. This is ridiculous. This is not okay. Um, in in other news, I don't know how we're supposed to get. Hey, well done. I'll let you get back to the garage. Call me. No. No, I think we were that far off three stars. No, are you kidding me? Why does this always happen to me every single time? Guess who has the watch running as well as it did in 1963? It would be really good for some rally driving. We could do that here. If you prefer rally cross and showing off some Gymkhana skills, we could do that here. You choose and meet me there. Well, I like the sound of Gymkhana skills. We are definitely going to do that one. Before Street Scene, before Horizon, before they even called it Gymkhana. It looks 
great. Can I? Can you I bet. just say I These love everybody's accent in this game? All right, so we're driving in the middle of the night here. I've started the timer. I have to get to the destination in one minute and 30 sec- Wait. Yeah, yeah, I have to get to the destination in one minute and 30 seconds. Wait. When I was Wait. working on it, I found Wait. some mounting bolts up on the chassis. Huh? I think he was Where am I going? Somehow. Sure Is that it? Am I- Am I doing it right? Fantastic driving. Feel free to, you know, stop. I really wonder what he was trying to do with his car. You wanted to block me from three stars in that previous event? No, 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 no. We are gonna cheese your checkpoint system all the way to the max. That is hey, how you Emilio. get three stars. Familia has been coming to visit the Wocho while I've been working on it in the shop. They've told me the most amazing stories you wouldn't believe. Tio Oscar says Papa Fernando actually drove for a rally team for a while. He competed in the Baja, maybe even Dakar. Tia Sofia told me he once put his bocho through the roof of a building. We could recreate his jumps. Probably leave out the building, though. Your Boo. choice. I'll take it. Vocho can fly and Vocho across country. Those are very, very cool events. I think we'll save those for later, though. Anyways, though, what I actually wanted to do was come over to our Horizon Adventure tab because we have two points to spend that we earned while driving the DeLorean. Now, what exactly do we want to do? We've got the Horizon Rush outpost opened up. We can start up a showcase mission or unlock the Juggernaut mission, okay? I kind of like the idea of the Juggernaut mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's definitely give that a go. That is going to be one of our most hey, intense, hey. intense races. And we get an achievement. One Juggernaut coming right up. I'll tell Wait. Jay to make it a good one. By spending that point, I just unlocked another point. Are you kidding me? Oh man, I've got to head all the way to the top of the volcano. It is a trailblazer event. And I've got to do it in under 100 seconds for three stars. If that is going to be the case, I think we're going to go back to the Horizon Festival and upgrade a car for this. We got this thing, our welcome pack, Ford Bronco R. And if you saw the video I made on this thing, let's just say it's uh, a little bit OP. So yeah, we are gonna drive this thing. Welcome, welcome, Ford Bronco R 2069. This is actually the welcome pack edition, so it's already got some upgrades on it, but I think we're gonna make it even faster. So we're gonna swap in our absurdly powerful engine into this. That is perfect. The rally lights are actually gonna slow us down. They're not adjustable, so we don't need those. They're just gonna weigh us down. I'm gonna go super try hard and toss on some lightweight rims to make us even faster. And then last but not least, we are gonna toss in, let's go for a six speed transmission. I think that'll be good. And then a rally differential for this. All right, and other than that, we are ready to go. So we're sitting nearly at the top of s1 class i am crossing fingers that that's gonna be fast enough this is a really big very capable off-roader but i don't know how hard that juggernaut event is gonna be ford bronco let's head all the way up the volcano and see what this trailblazer event is this is gonna be so unbelievably hard i I don't even know where to begin. I really hope we've taken a car that's actually good enough for this. That's my that's my biggest fear right now. I mean, I think you can see what I mean. This is definitely a very capable vehicle, but I am very intimidated by that juggernaut event. I, I'm really worried. Was I in a barn find location? Uh... It is Uncle Victor's car. Ford Escort. It has to be. Less than a quarter of the field made it to the finish line in Mexico City. But five out of the top 10 were these things. That's how we got the name. Let's go. Thank you very much. I wasn't even paying attention to the mini map. And somehow 
We've just come across a barn. Let's go. It's right there. That's awesome. Two out of 14 barn finds found. That is the Ford Racing Escort Mark 1. And again, hopefully that thing will actually get repaired by the end of today's video. That would be sweet. Anyways, carry on what we were doing all the way up the volcano. Apologies for that little interruption. So this is the trailblazer mission that we've got to do for ourselves. So... This is the start line. We're going to need to absolutely fly through there. We have 300 seconds on the clock and we've got to go. Whoa. We've got to go all the way over here. I think if we can hit the checkpoint like that, we can nail it through, avoid the trees on our right, and then hopefully make it to our destination. I don't know. I'm going to give this one attempt. Away we go. Ford Bronco R. No flipping over, please. And there we go through the checkpoint. That's already not the start that I wanted to have. I wanted to nail it through here, down the mountain. Absolutely nail it through the trailblazer checkpoint. Okay, they definitely want you to go that way. So it's a good thing we went this way in the end. And now we nail it, nail it down this mountain. And we've just, we've got to fly. This is going to be ridiculous. I think I might actually need to tune my gears because... Yep, I'm already redlining. Give me one second. I hope I can actually do this without getting booted. Okay, there we go. That's gonna give me a little bit more top speed, please. And now keep driving. Keep driving. Yes, we're still good. Okay, keep going. 5.6 miles. We've just gotta watch out for the bigger obstacles in our way. We've actually got a pretty long time to get all the way to our destination. We've got 200 seconds. So what's that? Like three minutes to drive five miles. Watch out for all of the weird black rocks just keep going we're definitely not driving as quickly as we could be we are getting way too much air right now but only four miles left to go still 140 seconds to get three stars keep it going do not hit a tree please do not hit a tree we're still good three miles to go 120 seconds that's two minutes to drive three miles the bronco r is absolutely unstoppable right now 90 seconds to go that's it. Keep going. No, 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 I'm bottling it. Move, move, get out of my way. 1.9 miles and 70 seconds left to go for three stars. Come on, please. We've got this. We've totally got this. I just need to get in into this section without any more crashing. No, 0.8, 30 seconds to go. I still might be able to do it even after crashing into all of those trees. Okay, slow it down, slow it down. Here, we're good, open it up, keep it going. A few yards left to go, 20 seconds. Uh-oh, no, no, get there, get there, get there. Where are we going? Where's the checkpoint? 10 seconds, where's the checkpoint? Seven, no, it's all the way up, no, no. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? We came that close. What did you think? We were so close. So, so close. Man, are you kidding me? Why are there so many trees in this area? I think I hit literally every tree in this area. That was insane. Speaking of things I nearly did really well, I totally forgot in my previous episode to go and unlock this house. Anyways, if I get this house, I double the amount of Forzathon points I get, which is super useful, and the house is free. So yeah, let's go open up another house. I, I'm so disappointed after that event. We were so close. The Ford Bronco R did an amazing job. I let it down though. We have arrived at our brand new house. Whoa. Whoa, that is a lovely looking house. All right, let's grab this for sure. So this house is free because I have the premium edition of the game. If you have the standard version, I'm not actually sure how much this is. 1.5 mil, jeez. We're getting this for free though with VIP. It also comes with five super wheel spins. Here's the keys. 
You can move in whenever you're ready. Well, thank you very much, Rami. We are definitely gonna grab this house. That is the nicest looking place I've got. I'm not gonna set it as my house though because I'm using the other house that I got in the last episode. The house right on the beach that we got as our spawn point over on the eastern side of the map. This house over here has been super, super useful. Anyways, though, now we've got five super wheel spins. So let's see how our luck is. A whole bunch of money right out of the gate. Come on, if we can get some more Forza Editions too, that would be awesome. Let's go. There's one right out of the gate. The Mercedes CLK GTR. That is a sweet looking car. 250k, even more money. We're going to be rolling in it after this one. Let me... I mean... Not, not all spins can be great. All right, last one. We need a really good one here. End on a nice note. Eh, that's not bad. I like the Volkswagen Beetle. Anyways, though, let's head into our new house and see how our barn find is doing. So, part stripping and cataloging. No, that's going to take forever. And it costs 1.8 million bucks to restore it now. The Ford Racing Escort, that's half a mil. We still have two more Horizon Festival coupon thingies. So how exactly do we want to spend them? We could use one of them to unlock the Colossus. We don't need to do that event right now, but we'll unlock that so it's on our map, which is going to be sweet. So we can do that whenever we want now. The Colossus, for those of you who don't know, was one of my favorite races in Forza Horizon 4. So hopefully this one's good as well. Now we have one more point to spend. And you know what? I think we're gonna do this, the Horizon Wilds. I know we haven't even done the Horizon Baja Expedition yet, but we're also gonna unlock the Jungle Expedition. So again, we can do that whenever we want Watch now. And now the game should show us we need 6,000 more accolade points. So that's pretty good. Speaking of accolades and stuff, the AR-12 Forza Horizon 5 Club is now open. And we have a couple of different versions open if by the time you're watching this video, this club is full. When you see this though, there's going to be a whole bunch of other clubs open too. So I'll put them all up on the screen and you can join any of them. If I need some accolades though, why don't I go and do this drag strip event over at the Mayan temple airport thingy place. And you know I had to whip out our all-electric kind of supercar with how fast this thing is. It has been winning us so, so many races. And that is our gear tuning doing bits for us right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the petrol-powered cars are coming. Not coming quick enough, though. Let's go Porsche Taycan Turbo S. And just like that, 15 seconds later, that should be another, what, 750 or maybe even a thousand accolades for us now. And we also get a whole bunch of XP, which is really nice. Since we're over here, though, we've actually got an event over here that's a point-to-point -point race. We can get a ton of accolades if we do it, so let's do that. And I had to whip out this thing, our 4 GT. I don't know how I haven't driven this thing, the other thing we should hopefully find out from this is if it actually has a race mode or not to be able to raise and lower the rear wing. I haven't actually checked this car just yet, so after this race, that'll give us a very good opportunity to. We've definitely had a bit of a difficult time getting some wins over the past couple of episodes and stuff, so this would be huge if we can get a win out here. We're already at the halfway point of this race, and these pesky Lamborghinis in front of me are super, super quick out here. The AI is so much better than they used to be. It's actually kind of insane. There we go. One Lambo taken care of. Can we get another one on the little switchback? Yes, we can as he runs it wide. Can't even get up the inside there. You can see what I mean. The AI is just better than they used to be. Here we go. Run it out wide, then back in. Now we got him. Let's go. And it's just in time as we head into Guanajuato and across the finish line. That was a good race. Uh, can somebody out there tell me why the Ford GT in this game does not have a race mode? The rear wing is down currently. I have no idea why the Ford GT wouldn't have a race mode though. That absolutely makes no sense. And if I head back to the Horizon Festival and into my barn find section, bodywork is stripping to bare metal. 
Yo, these barn finds are gonna take so long to repair. That's crazy. That is way longer to repair barn finds than it used to be. So no, we will not be driving the Ferrari F40 today. Jeez. I guess that then is where we're gonna wrap up this episode of our Forza Horizon 5 Let's Play. We did a bunch more stuff, somehow found two barn finds out there. We only need a couple more thousand accolades before our next Horizon Adventure chapter. We have two expeditions on our map, some horizon story stuff, and so, so much more stuff to go and explore. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon with some more Forza Horizon 5 gameplay. I'll see you then. Bye!